Hello everybody, my name is Retroboy3, and welcome back to another LEGO video review. This time on LEGO Dimensions, set number 71344, the Excalibur Batman Fun Pack. This set comes with 57 pieces, one minifigure, and retails in the United States for about $14.99. So, without further ado, let's get into the review. Okay, so the minifigure in this fun pack is the Excalibat, or as he's called here in the title of the set, Excalibur Batman. Anyway, so, um, here, if, here is his toy tag, which is which has some armor detailing, as well as a bat symbol. And then looking at the figure himself, this figure is very detailed. If you don't know, he was he was actually a cancelled Lego Batman movie collectible minifigure, and it really shows, because this figure is amazing. As you can see, he has the molded utility belts, like pretty much every Batman minifigure from the movie. But he also has some nice shoulder armor up top, and well, the figure in general has a nice has a lot of silver going on, whether it's molded like the cowler armor or just printed like on the torso and legs but anyway on the legs you can see that he has some nice bat knee ca mm, knee armor as well as just like j just uh, everything everything on this figure looks great i honestly don't even want to describe it you guys can just look on the back that's some of the back printing but it'll but you'll be able to see it a bit better if i remove some of the stuff he's got and i'm well before I do, you can see his sword, which is just a light bluish gray version of the Nexo Knight's sword for clay, but and just with some round and trans red tiles on the sides. As you can see, this is what he looks like with most of his stuff removed, so you can get a bit of a better look at the top of his torso printing. Um, as you can see, it looks really awkward when you don't have the utility belt on in between his torso and legs, so I would definitely keep that piece on, but I just kind of wanted to show you what it looked like in between there. And um, Turning him around to the back, you can also see more of his detailing on the back with the continuation of his chest armor. And if I take off his cowl, which I believe this is the only way to get this piece in silver, you can see that his head is not unique. It's the same that comes in... Um, the Batmobile and the Bat Cave for the movie, and some other sets. And um, if I turn it around, you can see that he has this gasping expression. And if I put on the cowl, that is what that face looks like. So that is Excalibur Batman, and now on to the Bionic Steed. So here we have the main build of this pack, this being the Bionic Steed. Which, as you can see... While I don't really understand why the why Batman is riding a horse, and I wish that maybe the vehicle in this pack had overall been something different, gotta say, I really love the way they pulled off this horse design. It's probably one of my favorite builds in Dimensions. Actually, no, probably not. There are a lot of really good builds in Dimensions. But as you can see on the side, you have some nice building for the legs, and I really like how they did this armor up here with, like, the saddle. That looks really good. The one incongruity is that while this t r horse is supposed to be bionic, it does have kind of like um a, a tail that is more of a realistic like it looks like a hairy tail. But anyway, you have some nice you have some nice building up top for the head with you can see kind of a single eye in there as well as some armor on top. And my favorite part is probably these rearing up legs. I don't know why, but I just feel as though those look really good with like these different hinged pieces as well as even like a few a handgun used for each and um this build actually does have some posability um it's actually attached just by a clip to this little stand down here but um anyway you can see that his you can move these in and out as well as you can move this whole joint up and down you can joint it here or as well so that's pretty cool and also the legs can, um, if I remove it, you can see that they can also bend in two different places. So yeah, so, so that is the Bionic Steed, and now on to the next build of this vehicle, that being the Bat Raptor. So here we have the Bat Raptor, which I really do not like. I mean, like, I kind of understand what they're going for, not really... 
but um, it's, it's weird. So as you can see, it has this giant tail at the back. These weird designs for legs, I really don't know what, what they were going for there. It has these arms, which I guess look okay, but then I don't know, the head is just way too big. See, I don't know, I really don't like this build. So, um, anyway, eh, so that I don't have to stare at this any longer, how about we go on to the third and final build of this set, the Ultra Bat. So, here we are with our last build, the Ultra Bat, which somehow managed to look even weirder than the Bat Raptor. And, um, first off, I forgot to mention it with the first and second builds, but, um, y you see the tailpiece, which here is kind of being used for, like, some extension of a mouth or facial hair? I have no idea what that's supposed to be. But anyway, um... There's a weird incongruity where in the game, that piece is silver, even though obviously here it's black. But anyway, so um, yeah, this is another weird one where I don't really know what to describe because I don't know what anything is. Here you have like these two leg claw things, so there's that. Um, you have shields on the sides, and um, th these wings are nice. Like, if there was a better build that these wings went to, then I feel as though that would actually be pretty cool. I really like how these bat wings came out. It's just everything else that is not good. So anyway, so that's the final build of this fun pack, and now on to the final verdict. Okay, so now on to the final verdict. Would I recommend this fun pack? Well, let's start with the positives. The Excalibur Batman minifigure, the, just the minifigure looks amazing. Forget about in-game stuff, just the minifigure almost makes me want to say yes. And, like, the Bionic Steed build is pretty good, too. And in-game, this does unlock the LEGO Batman movie world, so if you're not getting the story pack, you can still use this to unlock the world, as well as the, um... The starter pack Batman man can now transform into the Will Arnett Batman movie Batman if you get this pack. That honestly, while that is great stuff in game, the second and third builds aren't that good. And um, also, that's the thing. If you are getting the story pack, then this pack is pretty much worthless aside from having the physical minifigure because in game... This figure is just the, um, the, the starter pack Batman, except he has a sword and super strength. Both, so, um, if you have, so, um, well, if you don't have Finn, then the sword switch ability is unique. So I guess that, yeah, then this pack is still kind of useful. But if you have, but if you already have, like, every level and story pack, then there's really no need to get this figure. But you know what, I'd still recommend you get it, because now that I think about it, I kind of took apart my whole argument. You do need several, you do need both of those packs, plus something with super strength, to equate to just having this one guy. So yeah, definitely get this pack, and forget about everything I had said prior. It's good. Thank you all so much for watching, and as always, I will see all of you in the next video. Bye bye